Denmark is very attractive for the Indians to coming in because they they've been traveling to uh, parts of Europe uh, previously in the last 10 years and it's not the same European experience as they've already been through. Uh, I understand the weather is slightly different uh, but just to tell you that the weather is something that the Indians are least bothered about. They're not coming to Europe just for the sun. Uh, they're not even looking at that. They very often travel to destinations which, um, uh, for example, they travel to Australia and New Zealand in bigger numbers in July and August um, or, or April and May when it's their winters. But it's the convenience of when they can holiday and the Indians are not really looking for the sun really. Uh, for the last few days we had some people from India it rained, uh, it was a mixed bag, uh, but they appreciated uh, what was going on and nobody was complaining about the weather. Uh, they could sometimes not be well prepared as far as uh, they could be surprised, for example, in the month of May when they find the kind of winds or chilly winds. But it's just something that they've been, uh, the, the avid traveler is used to. And, he, um, and as this, you know, I've been telling them what the Scandinavians say sometimes, that there's no such thing called bad weather, it's only bad clothing. So it's, it's interesting that everyone actually had a good time. Uh, some of the activities, I saw some of the other country participants uh, uh, in the fam uh, shop not doing on the day it was raining, but the Indians still went down on the rickshaw and also on the bicycle. And people did love uh, the electronic bicycle route uh, and going into the interiors in spite of the fact it was raining. It was still one of the most appreciated tours. So, yeah. Summing up, what would you say this country has to offer uh, to, to an Indian? Like summing up. And, and you can enclose my mm -hmm. sentence in your answer. Uh, well, uh, I think the Indians uh, would love to be here because uh, they suddenly see and see a very upgraded quality of life. Uh, they experience uh, contemporary modern design, um, very beautifully amalgamated with the culture and and historic uh, nature of the city as well. But I think everything that you go, every every place that you go, uh, you do find an element of design or difference in every every effort has been put in to be different, to stand out, uh, whether it's at the train station, whether it's the trains, whether it's the bicycles, whether it's the new uh, opera house, the harbor, uh, Nehaven, it all looks like a great package because it's got, uh, and, and some of the Indians also had a great time with the cuisine in terms of uh, some vegetarians as well thought the, the food was really good. Uh, also, um, I thought the people here have an attitude to service in terms of being really, really forthcoming and hospitable, which also the Indians do like. I do understand some of the hotels may take a while to get used to the Indian demands, uh, uh, because in India we are pampered a lot, uh, and there's a lot of uh, demand in terms of service. But I think that that gap will take its while to bridge. Um, the people here would have to experience uh, more Indians coming in, and vice versa, learning why culturally we do expect a lot more. Uh, but that's something that they must understand as well as they service and get ready to host uh, more Indians coming in. But uh, but yeah, I'm sure there will be some uh, uh, some common areas that we need to uh, learn uh, and sensitize ourselves with each other's cultures. Uh, but that should not be uh, stopping us from uh, having a lot of Indians coming in here. Do you see it more like something of interest to the mind rather than the physical? Um, uh, you'll have to explain uh, me okay. what... Uh, Do you looking? see, you know, like uh, what could interest an Indian to be something that, you know, is about, you say, like design, it's about how these people organize themselves or you know, uh, the ideas in some sense of this country. Yeah. Is it more like tourism of the mind in some sense? Well, I'm not sure at this point of time, but this is something in the future, yes. Today, the Indians have been, uh, for the last 10 years, typical tourists. They've been going on package tours. Now they're ready to be uh, slightly more towards being travelers. And I think the next step forward would be to do very niche tours. Um, today we sometimes call them luxury tours or wine tasting tours or uh, you know gourmet tours but I really truly think we haven't read in big numbers arrived there. 
um, which should happen in the due course. I think it's very interesting to see how well organized or the offices are so vibrant uh, as I walk into the Visit Denmark office. It's a happy place to be working in and I actually immediately said uh, that I love to be working here which is, which is true that I'd like to learn more about um, certain efficiencies that we have, a uh, certain way of uh, the Danish uh, lifestyle, but I think that will take us a while, but we need to be exposed as a tourist to the destination first, and then maybe uh, get exposed to more.